to RCC Adventures. Now you can probably see from the opening shots that we are down the boat. Yep, so uh, mini mini, it's a very very small mini mini update on uh, on how the boat is doing because it's now back in the water and uh, excuse the mess because we're still trying to clear up from uh, when it was out. But yeah, weather outside, it's frightful because it's getting close to Christmas. Yeah, oh, I did that. But yeah, if we just look at the window, sure, cloudy. You'll be nice. It's cold as well. But I've got the heating on. Um, yes, I am in a t shirt, but I'm still cold, even with the heating on. Um, it's hard to believe, really, that I spent six years uh, living on this. Um, just shows how much I've climatized not being on here. Just getting cold all the time. But anyway, so uh, in a minute, because we are clearing up to go back, because um, we spent the night last night, um, I'll show you on the outside. Obviously the shots probably won't be great on the outside, because uh, I don't want to drop your phone in the water. That won't be good, because then you won't be seeing this at all, or any future video until I get a new camera. But yeah, so, uh, Gonna carry on tidying up and then I'll show you the outside. Hmm. Oh, and uh, we might see if we can get the other cars, uh, well, the cars started. Uh, we're using Ron uh, of late, and he's uh, he's, in a, he's a little trooper, he is, he just, he just keeps going. Um, you'll see if we get the Chrysler started, uh, it's been down here about a week or so. Uh, we did put the, um, the battery on charge with the pulse charger. Uh, so hopefully that sorted that battery out. If not, then uh, we'll be coming down again to try and start him at a later date. Uh, and Harlequin's down here as well, um, after her big wash in the last video, um, just trying to keep her away from the salt. So she probably won't be used this side of Christmas or after for a little while. Um, I have got a battery tender, battery tender on to keep the battery going. And yeah, so, Next shot, outside. Right, so now, yeah, we're outside. Um, I'm looking at her. It does make you realise that the deck needs doing now. Because now we've done the sides and the bottom. This looks fantastic. The deck does need doing. Which we'll do after. Um, after winter, basically. Now we're going to start to get a bit warmer. Um, sorry for the wind. I haven't got the microphone with me today. So sound is going to be an issue. Didn't think of that. Never mind. Hopefully you can hear me. And the wind isn't too terrible. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at the, the port side at the moment. As you can see, she looks pretty good. I am holding on to my camera for dear life. So I don't want to drop it. But yeah, so down there, that's all the work that we did when it was out of the water. Looks fantastic. And uh, now we just need to do the deck. Yeah, but she's been in the water for a good few weeks now. And she's been through two storms and survive both. Uh, I've put on extra ropes as well. Um, the black ropes we uh, had in lockers, same with, what one is it? That one there, that's a three ply line. Um, had that in a locker. The other lines were on the boat already, uh, but we've got to put some more on there just to make sure. And yeah, so the deck needs doing, but we'll, uh, as I said, get around to that. Yeah, she's come out absolutely beautifully. And uh, one thing I was concerned about uh, is when I changed the anode, is the access point is down the back back cabin. Uh, that there'll be a little bit of leakage because um, bolt goes right through the hole. And even if you put a ton of sea on, you can't always guarantee. Uh, but she's absolutely watertight, which is marvellous. One more look. Um, I'm running out of time today. Um, we'll have to do the start up of the other cars uh, at a later date. So it's only going to be a really short one today. There'll be just an update on the boat, really. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Uh, please subscribe and uh, hit that bell and like and comment and all that. That would be marvellous if you could. Yeah, definitely need to do the deck. Uh, a lot of it is just so ground in now. Uh, a lot of the dirt, so all the green stuff, so ground into the, the old paint. 
Uh, even just giving it a clean ain't going to make much of a difference because we didn't clean it that long ago. And it still looks rather dirty. But never mind. Anyway, cheers, guys. All right, change plan. Because uh, the Chrysler's battery was a little bit low there, but it got going. So uh, we're going to use the Chrysler now. Uh, originally, we were just going to go back in, uh, back in Ron. I don't know what I'm doing there. Quite empty the boot first before I do anything else. Okay, this time it's not as bad. Just going to put it in Harlequin. Because Harlequin's got the battery tender on there, so I don't want to start her until I've disconnected the battery tender. And if I don't tend to use her, What's the point? Sorry, that was really close angles, but yeah, so uh, using the, um, let's get the camera right, using the Grizer for now, and then um, when we next come back down, I'll use Ron again. Because uh, Ron needs the mileage to keep the engine, uh, um, you know what I mean, after a fresh rebuild. I know we're doing a fair amount of mileage in it. Keep them going, and uh, the darn sight cheaper to use. So use Chrysler until it needs fuel. Just got about a quarter tank at the moment, and then uh, we'll come back and use Ron because uh, it only costs about thirty quid to fill Ron up. This uh, Chrysler costs ninety, maybe more with the uh, the cost of fuel these days. So. I know I'm doing uh, YouTube videos and a lot of you out there are watching my videos but uh, I'm not earning money off it yet so I need more of you to uh, subscribe for me the more of you subscribe the more I can get to the point where I can get monetized and start earning money and then I can use the likes of the Chrysler and Harlequin all the time I've always got to be careful of the pennies, it's including mods as well. So that's why there's not many, uh, there hasn't been any uh, modification videos recently. With uh, Christmas and everything coming up, <coughs> those are in. I'm going to go get Ron, park him up, put the stuff that I that is in Ron in the Chrysler, and go from there. But yeah, a little bit of a bonus, a little bit of an, a little bit extra onto the video. But yeah, we're going to be using the Quasar until it runs out of fuel. <laughs>